Hi and welcome back and today we are going to talk about papayas. This papaya tree to be exact. Now when you think about papayas, you think of this tall tree with a big fruit way at the top. However, that is not the case with this papaya tree. This papaya tree is a Hawaiian solo or a Hawaiian sunrise variety. Now this is a man-made hybrid in Hawaii so that it can have the same sweetness but the fruit is only about this big. It's only about a pound. Now when I first got to this property about two and a half, three years ago, I wanted to grow a papaya because I love papayas. However, I am in currently in zone 10B and at my local nursery, they say that the only variety that would thrive and survive here through the winter is the Mexican papaya. And so then I asked about the Hawaiian solo because we've got this at the grocery store and it tastes very good. But my local nursery said that it may not live through the winter. And there are a lot of conflicting information out there on the web um, regarding whether this variety can thrive in Southern California. So I kind of hesitated and did not plant it right away. However, last year I planted it anyway. So this is a propagation by seed. So I bought the seeds from eBay and sprinkled them right at this location, maybe about 20 seeds, uh, but only five germinated. So then I picked the strongest one and let it grow. So this papaya tree is about two years old. Um, for the first winter, it was only a baby about this high. And then this season, it got to be this big and fruit right away at, you know, at the bottom of the trunk. So it's about maybe a foot from the ground and it started to fruit. So that is another unique feature of this papaya tree. So I don't know whether this will live through this winter, but most likely the fruit won't ripe until next season because right now the weather is getting cold. It's getting below um, 60s at night. And that is another point on the web. They say that when the temperature is below 60 degrees, the papaya, uh, especially this variety here, it doesn't ripe, ripe or ripe correctly and it tastes very bland. So this is my first season seeing this so i don't know whether that is correct or not but if this does survive through this winter i will have an updated video for you guys then when i taste the fruit or if it ripes this season then i will also update that video as well so the main purpose of this video is to show you guys that you can definitely grow a Hawaiian papaya here in Southern California, Zone 10B. However, I am not sure whether this will live through this winter and get and you know and the fruit would ripe for me in the next I know in the next season or you know this winter. So stay tuned. If you like my content and would like to follow me on this journey to grow tropical fruits, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you on the next one.